Restricted airspace is identifiable by the magenta lines on an aviation map. Here we have some restricted airspace over Sydney Harbour. We can see the horizontal extent of the restricted airspace by the magenta lines. Within that is an identifier. In this case, Romeo 405 Bravo. Below this is the vertical extent. In this case, from the surface to 1000 feet. So everywhere within those magenta lines from the surface to 1000 feet is classified as restricted airspace. In Avlam, we have the opportunity to gain some extra information by double tapping on the screen. Double tapping within that airspace will bring up further information. The one that we're interested in is Romeo 405 Bravo. Selecting that brings up more information. The name we already know. The activity within that area is helicopters and seaplanes. The hours is daylight hours only. We'll go through the acronyms a little later. The state. Avplan has the opportunity to read NOTAM so it can tell you whether the airspace is active or not. However, it cannot read the time. So the state is checked because it doesn't know whether it's daylight hours or not. Planning, in this case it's RA3. There's RA1, RA2 and RA3. The higher the number, the harder it is to get clearance to operate within that restricted airspace. So we have anywhere within this red shaded area is restricted airspace. If this airspace is active, then we'll need permission to operate within that area. If the airspace is not active, we can operate as per normal.